Hello viewers, this is Ben here, and today we are taking a look at the Atro Scale Bombardier Bi-Level Commuter Passenger Car from Athern. The prototype Bi-Level Passenger Car was originally conceived to meet the demands of Go Transit in the late 1970s. Go Transit is a regional public transit system in Ontario, Canada, which operates bus and train services throughout the Greater Toronto Area and beyond. The bi-level car is easily identifiable due to its unique octagon-shaped car body. Due to its successful design, the bi-level is very popular with several commuter train operators in Canada and the United States. Go Transit is still the largest owner of these cars and uses these cars exclusively on their rail network. Athern's motto of the bi-level retails for 50 US dollars for a single car or 150 US dollars for a three car set. The model has a regular variant and a cab car variant. My example of the model was decorated for Go Transit. Athern's model depicts an earlier production variant of the car with riveted sides. The paint scheme is also an earlier version for Go Transit. The car features a one piece Injection molded plastic car body with separately applied wire grab irons, horn, bell, electrical cables, and operating plastic diaphragms. The car comes with an interior, but without lights. The paint is evenly applied, however, some of the paint separation lines are blurry. The pad printed text is clear and legible. The window pieces are transparent and not tinted. The trucks are one-piece injection molded plastic. The car comes with metal wheels on a plastic axle. They are less free rolling than typical wheel sets due to the internal bearing design of the model. The wheel sets are code 110 RP25 and are all in gauge. The model comes with McHenry scale head plastic couplers, but I have replaced the factory couplers with KD158 couplers. The couplers are at the correct height. If you have curves that are under 24 inches in radius, it is recommended to use a longer coupler, such as KD-156 or KD-146. The car weighs 246 grams. The NMRA recommendation for a car of this length is 7 ounces, which is 198 grams. In order to remove the shell, First, remove the coupler and coupler cover. Then, remove the trucks and the extended swing coupler box. Insert some playing cards or similar material to wedge the shell apart from the chassis. You can use a pair of pliers to gently grab the bolster of the underframe and lift it out of the shell. Sometimes the underframe may be glued to the shell at the door, so it is a good idea to check if there is glue applied. If you see glue marks, then gently scribe the bottom of the door with a hobby knife to free the chassis from the shell. The chassis has a plastic injection molded interior with seats and tables which are not painted. The underframe of the car is die cast metal and has some crude molded on details. This is the cab car variant of the bi level. It has some extra stuff such as separately applied windshield wipers, horn cluster, and bell. For this model, I have also done some modifications, which includes adding a Soundtrax Tsunami sound card decoder and iPhone speaker with the Nathan K5LA horn and e-bell, directional headlights and marker lights, and working ditch lights tied to the horn function. I made these modifications in 2016 and unfortunately have not documented the process. If you would like to see how to add sounds and lights to the cab car, send me a message and I will see if I can make a video tutorial when the next batch of cab cars are released. Here is a demonstration of all the functions of the Tsunami sound card decoder.
I praise the model for its availability because commuter train models are hard to come by. The separately applied details are nice as well. However, not all of the details are correct, and many other details are molded on and crude. The paint separation between the colors could have been done better. And for 50 US dollars, I find the general workmanship and detail of the model to be somewhat inadequate. Overall, it is an acceptable representation of the Bombardier bi-level passenger car. And because there isn't another manufacturer offering these unique passenger cars, this is the go-to model if you are a fan of modern commuter rail operations. I would give this model a 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching my review of the Athern HO Scale Bombardier Bi-Level Passenger Car, and I will see you next time.